Heather, let's talk about our dreams. Okay, let's talk this about is, our This dreams. is going to be a dream vlog. Um, so last night I had a dream, and um, Mark Driscoll, he didn't really yell at me, but he definitely was disappointed in me, and he was was mildly rebuking me, which I know is uncommon for Mark Driscoll, but yeah, he wasn't he wasn't too happy with me. I was being too loud and sassy in the in the convention lecture area where we were. Like I was sitting with a few people, and he was like a few rows back with some of his homeboys, and he just kind of like shook his head at me and was like, "Callie, that was bad." I mean, he didn't know my name, but but then he talked to me and he was like, "You you are causing other people to stumble by being so loud and obtuse about all this stuff." And I don't even remember what I said, but I was I was like. It was weird. So yeah, Mark Driscoll yelled at me in my dreams. But he didn't yell, but he was disappointed in me in my dreams. Can I ask you a question about sure. this dream? Sure, sure. So in, when you first... <gasps> yeah, sorry. All right. When you first told me about this dream, I assumed that Mark Driscoll was preaching. No, but he was not So preaching. who were you guys listening to? I don't know. I don't know. It was kind of like, you know how, like, on sitcoms... They'll have like a stage of like, oh look, they're at a concert or something, and then they just show the the seat yeah. area. It was like that. Yeah. Oh, oh. So in your dream, you didn't know. No. Okay. I mean, I definitely knew who I was listening to. They were like, we're gonna talk about something, and I was like, yeah. So in your dream, you knew who you're listening to. Yeah, okay. but I definitely don't know now. Okay. Fair enough. All right. I have weird dreams, Heather. I one time dreamt that a bear hugged me. <laughs> a bear hug. <laughs> like, like, like it was a really happy bear, and it was just like hanging out in this room. And like every everybody came for miles from miles to see the bear that would hug you. Like it was a really friendly bear, and I went and visited it, and it hugged me. It was like really happy to hang out with me, the bear. That's really interesting. That sounds like a good dream too. It was an odd dream. I will tell you about my dream in one second, but I want to record for the sake of this blog. Um, for those of you who may not be familiar with Mark Driscoll, we'll probably put in the comments <laughs> a really sassy YouTube video of him being super sassy. <laughs> it's really intense that Callie is being rebuked in this dream for her sassiness and loudness and that that is going to cause somebody to stumble, that Mark Driscoll is the one <laughs> delivering that rebuke. And, uh, yeah, so that I thought that was really <laughs> hilarious. Um... So then this is this is my dream that I'm going to share for this this vlog, but it's... Um, this is my favorite dream ever. Yeah, it's not one I had recently, it's one I had a while ago, and I actually wrote it down because it was so um, weird, uh, but I it was right after, like the night after I'd listened to the um, Desiring God, Biblical Manhood and Womanhood sermon uh, series, I think it's a five-part sermon series, uh, John Piper d did and does, um, and I want to put this in this vlog because it, my coworkers found this hilarious. While listening to the vlog, to the vlog, while listening to the sermon, what I had noted in my mind was, as John Piper was explaining the omnicompetence of his mother, his mother had taught him how to make pancakes, and the way you knew that a pancake was ready to flip was that it was get crispy on the edges and bubble up in the middle and you could flip it over and that's how you know a pancake is ready. So I had, for some reason, noted that in my mind. There were other things he talked about, too, like making french fries and cutting the grass and other things, too. But um, while listening to sermons, I was picking up... While listening to a biblical manhood and womanhood uh, sermon, I was picking up recipes. And David Hegstead pointed that one out. Andrew Carter said that I passed for as a biblical woman picking up recipes from my uh, sermon series there you go. but um anyway this is the dream so that was the backstory for the dream here's the dream in my dream john piper was making pancakes in my kitchen there were also about 20 other people in my kitchen making pancakes but we had bigger counters than we actually do in reality and so they were all on griddles that you plug into the wall they kind of they're kind of independent kind of a thing and so some people were making pancakes the way John Piper was making pancakes, and other people were making pancakes not the way John Piper was making pancakes. So John Piper was not, had no commentary whatsoever and wasn't even looking at the people who were making pancakes. He was just, like, had no reaction towards any of the people around him, but the people who were making pancakes the way John Piper was making pancakes were disapprovingly giving the stink eye to the people who were making the pancakes in a way different than John Piper was making pancakes. And... I woke up from this dream 
and thought to myself, whoa, <laughs> how strange. So that was my that was my pancake dream. And this was very, very early on in my uh, experience at Bethlehem Baptist. And I was a big John Piper fan. And, and now I'm a more balanced John Piper fan, I guess. But I was really intense at that point in the my life. The important part about this is that I think it's an important allegory as to how people at Bethlehem do theology. Maybe. Or maybe not everybody, but some, maybe... Like everyone even... who does theology like John Piper does are like hypercritical of those who don't. John mm. Piper does. Mm. That's what we think. That's what I think. Those are my two cents. Take it for what they're worth. Just two cents. So that was my, that was my pancake dream. My Piper pancake, biblical, com- complementarity. Those are our dreams. Those are our dreams. Praise the Lord. Dreams. <laughs>